It is important to make sure the student's logged into their at claver.net.eu account. They then have to go to the drive. Once they've chosen the Google Drive, this is a totally new account, they create a folder. Now, normally I get the students to actually name the folder the subject name, as well as their name, which makes life easier when it comes to your end. And they create the folder. You can see the folder will appear and load here. Then they need to check the box beside the folder and click the little share button at the top up there. And they click on the share button and the share window will pop up, in which case they choose then to add your Clavernet account into the bottom down here. Make sure it says can edit and untick the email notification and go OK. And yeah, like OK for skipping this notification. And you'll notice now that my name will pop up as a shared collaborator on this folder who can edit. And I go OK. Now I'm just going to swap to my account. So in my account, if you notice, if I go over to shared with me, and the top folder that's been shared with me is the 10 ICT tools. And that's why I've got the student's name at the end there. Now, what I've done, I normally set up in my drive a folder called student work. And in there will have a folder for my 10 ICT or my classes, different classes. So they've popped up here. So I'll go back to my shared folders. I expand out here the folder so I can see it. Go back to my shared with me. And I just click and drag that folder into the 10 ICT folder and it will be at the top there. And I can access that anytime I want and access anything in that actual folder.